Hi friends, I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Today we are going to talk about coronary artery disease, CAD. Coronary artery disease is the most common type of heart disease all over the world. It is the leading cause of death all over the world in both men and women. So today we are going to talk about the symptoms, the cause, the reason, the treatment, the complications related to coronary artery disease. But before anything else, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, then please take a minute, subscribe to the channel and do press the bell icon because only then you'll get notification of the next upcoming video. Thank you for your support. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So let's begin. Coronary artery disease happens when the arteries that supply blood to your heart muscles become hardened and narrowed. Now, this happens due to buildup of plaque, which is a mixture of fat, cholesterol and other materials present in your blood over inner walls of the blood vessels. Now, this buildup is in itself called atherosclerosis. As it grows, less blood can flow through these arteries and as a result, the heart muscles cannot get the blood or the oxygen it needs. This can lead to chest pain. This chest pain or a pain around the chest, on the shoulders, in the left arm, neck, in the jaw, upper abdomen or in the back, all of these pains can happen and this pain resulting due to a less blood supply to the heart muscles is called angina. And when there is a continuous pain because of blockage, complete stoppage of blood supply to a certain part of the heart, that is called as a heart attack. Most heart attack happens when a blood clot suddenly cuts off the heart's blood supply, which means that there is already a plaque building up inside the blood vessels, which is partially obstructing the blood vessel and over and above that, there is a clot thereby obstructing, cutting the blood supply to that certain part of your heart causing permanent heart damage, causing heart attack. And this heart attack is a lethal problem, is deadly. It is the most common cause of death all over the world. Now, what happens when you have a heart attack? Within first three to six hours, your heart muscles, they try to get more and more blood. So they try to contract. They try to adapt, but they don't get enough blood, so they start dying. Within three to six hours, if you get proper treatment, then there is a good chance that these dying muscles can actually recover. But after that, after this golden period, there will be a permanent heart damage. And if a certain part of your heart is damaged, say the left side of your heart is damaged, then what will happen? It will weaken your heart's contracting ability. It will not be able to contract with the force it was contracting before. So this is basically called as heart failure. Now depending upon how much of your heart muscles are damaged, the failure will vary. In a normal person, heart pumps 60% of whatever the blood it fills in one heartbeat. Heart failure 
means that in that one heartbeat, it won't be able to pump 60% of the blood. It will be able to pump less than that, maybe 40, maybe 30 or maybe 20. Another problem which happens due to heart attack is arrhythmias. Heart is a muscle which keeps on pumping, beating all the time till you die. So there is, there are some centers in the heart which control this beating. If blood supply to these centers are cut off or hampered, then your heart can have rhythm problems. These are called arrhythmias. And sometimes because of these arrhythmias, your heart can start, your heart can suddenly stop. Heart failure and arrhythmias are two main reasons why your heart stops after a heart attack. So coronary artery disease is a deadly disease which is very common which can cost you your life. So if you do value your life then regularly get your health checkup done every year so that you can know whether or not you are having any early symptoms of this disease especially if you are over 45 years of age having any risk factor associated with coronary artery disease like diabetes hypertension smoking drinking a family history of heart attacks or an inactive lifestyle or obesity. Make sure you work on all these risk factors to prevent coronary artery disease. Make sure to watch all our heart related videos to understand more about coronary artery disease.